Okay, number six. Agents of influence, scarcity. All things appear more valuable when they are less available. Okay, it, it's simple uh, supply and demand, economics, scarcity drives value in a huge way. The absence um, of a thing creates value. But if you did not engage emotion, then it's not valuable. Okay, it's emotion-based. Remember this, most everything we're doing is to trigger emotion. So, you know how scarcity works. When there's 10 seats available and nine are already taken, um, it's scarce. And, it, and if they were taken in the last hour, then it's like, oh, it's really, I have to buy this second to get it if I wanted it. That creates more value. You can ask more for that. In the same way that when um, the ski lifts go on sale every year, they'll start in the spring selling a year pass for cheap because they're super available. You've got plenty of time. And as it gets closer and closer, that price will go up and up and up and up. When you would think that they were trying to sell the items, get rid of them, and so the price should naturally come down. But no, the scarcity, the limited availability, not that they're limited, uh, but the limited time, you know, that, that scarcity is, is getting is encroaching and therefore the price will go up. And that's what drives every collector is scarcity. Every collector in America, the only reason they collect things is because they're scarce. They're not going to go out and collect just some random pair of mass-produced tennis shoes. No, they want those Air Jordan Silvers that are... $60,000 that are ridiculously priced because only a hundred of those were manufactured. Those are the scarce items that they're not going to wear. They're going to buy just to hold on to them. Those mis uh, coined, mis uh, minted coins, the ones that have defects and errors, the scarce ones, the unique ones. Um, and not having something, taking some of the thing away. Loss of version is four times more powerful than Gaining an opportunity. So people uh, don't want to lose something, right? If you if they think they're going to get it and you're about to take it away from them, they'll, no, 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 I'll, 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 I'll take that. That one's mine, right? They're completely loss of persons. We have been conditioned to believe that what comes easy is not value. And that what comes, what's difficult to come is value. And that is a big thing that you can use because when I'll do joint ventures sometimes and trade everything that I do for what they do. Say, hey, let's make a swap. We'll learn each other's product and, uh, and we'll market it to each other's clients. Well, whenever I do that, uh, the vast majority of time um, that people don't opt into my course, they don't, they don't, they don't opt into my program, they don't go through and, and watch any of the system. They don't implement anything. They don't even join the membership area because it came easy, right? I'm the one going out saying, hey, I'll do this. So it's easy for me to say, hey, I'll do this and then go watch everything that they have and then they never um, come take mine because it was easy for them, right? But if it was super difficult, this is why we use taking it away, uh, the lean, the hook and lean out in our messenger because we're, we trigger the emotion, remember, trigger that emotion in the hook and lean. And once you get to that emotion, then you can lean out and they will pursue you. You'll, you'll go to take it away. You say, oh, oh yeah, I might have something to fix that. And then you leave and disappear for a day or two and you're amplifying the emotion that they have for that thing and they feel like they're going to lose it so they will pursue harder and harder. That's when you can easily, okay, let's finish this deal and close it up and they won't ghost you. A lot of people talk about, oh, I book a lot of things, but I get a lot of people ghosting me. And it's because they're not triggering the emotion. So make sure that you use that hook and lean out because that's going to increase the number of people that actually go through and get on a call with you.